Hello everyone, I'm Maurice and welcome to Tanks and Invest. Talk about investing, finance, fresh development. For today's video, every time only. The investment on top of today will be NEO, ticker NIO. So with respect to the sell-off that we had yesterday, as I'm recording as of 11.12 a.m. on Eastern Time, NEO is currently trying like the $42.30 level, up about 5.05% so far. It seems like we're rebounding from the negative media affectation that cultivated stem from obviously the meeting between the U.S. officials and the Chinese officials on discussing the relationship and the economical outlook between two countries going forward. With respect to the media affectation that's been depicting the meeting that was held earlier this week, you know, they used the term, uh, an adjective quote, right, uh, stalemate to describe the relationship between U.S. and China. So obviously, with respect to the percolations of the tension that's been, you know, frankly cultivating for months and, you know, almost a year now between U.S. and China, that definitely drove a lot of sell-off across the spectrum, you know, for a lot of the Chinese-related stocks. Rather, if it's like has a lot of exposures in U.S., but, you know, any Chinese stocks was definitely, you know, hinder yesterday across the spectrum, right? With respect to NEO, yesterday was down close to about 10.10% at one point. And I was very fortunate to be able to buy the dip on, on basically about when we hit the $38.75 level. So I bought another 500 shares of NEO, currently having about um, more over like 7,000 shares of NEO so far. So it was a relatively large part of my position. Right, so I'm going to go through a technical analysis again to see how we're trending going forward, right? We know that some of the macro drivers that we should be experiencing later today is the FOMC meeting that's expected to happen at 2 p.m., right? And we might hear a little bit more about the inflation toward pressure. You know, it could be the positive spectrum or the negative side of the spectrum. But based on historical trends on historical FOMC meetings so far, every time when they say something along the line like inflations, along the line with respect to quantitative tightening or shifting the timing with respect to the, you know, uh, to progressions of the economical recovery going forward, it drives some selling pressure across the spectrum, right? And we are in the business of risk mitigation. So I'm going to go through the technical analysis to see what frames of reference uh, or you know, resistance level we should be ideally dollar cost averaging at. Or are we shifting or make any adjustments to the chart now based on the reversal that we're seeing? So stay tuned, stick around, let's make some money. So moving on to the technical analysis for NEO ticket NIO, I'm recording also of 11.15 a.m. on the Eastern Time, going to like the $41.75 level, up about 6% so far. In respect to the reversal that we're experiencing right now, we hit that all the way down to the 38.50 yesterday, which was, uh, I believe, the all-time low, or somewhere around like 38.75 to go on specific, or 60-something. I, I don't know specifically the low level, but we hit that, you know, comparable resistance level that I previously identified have not shifted the chart have not changed the resistance pattern so far and that's the level we tested you know people say like are you a wizard are you Harry Potter no I'm not I'm just uh, reading the charts I'm just speaking based on what I see in front of me I have no bias um, but I am obviously bullish on the business value proposition going forward I am you know, uh, bullish on the business model and the long-term macroeconomic outlook for the business going forward. So that's why I'm an investor into NEO. But with respect to like, do I have emotional ties to this investment opportunity? Absolutely not. I don't have any feelings towards this specific business. This is just purely logics and, um, you know, statistics, but I'm seeing in front of me, right? So the level that we're currently at right now, we are not really at a substantive level. We are basically just hovering away, right? We are floating levitating at the moment we're basically trying or attempting to reverse back up right because of the dip we saw yesterday right and then now we screaming about like uh, and you see on the news today you see that oh it was the good dip yesterday or um the relationship is not as bad as they thought it was going to be right or something along the line right so obviously this is a lot of influential type of uh, media affectation play again right and knowing the fact that the FOMC meeting is happening at 2 p.m. today, right, and the likelihood of us getting, you know, more negative selling pressure later today can be, can have a high probability, right? And I think I give that maybe a 60% likelihood that we will see some selling pressure later today, right? And again, the next level that will lead down potentially would be uh, around like the $40 level this time. And I don't think it's going to go all the way to 30 75 again to break that $40 level. 
And the reason I say this is because with respect to the MACD and RSI right now, the RSI is very um, is leaning towards the oversold level, which we did yesterday, and that's why we reversed back up. And you see this like V shaped type of recovery on the RSI perspective, and also like for MACD, we have been stretching for a relatively long time right now. Uh, obviously, negative volume yesterday, a lot of selling pressure, and I think it just makes sense to slowly recuperate and slowly curving back up. And I do see some propensity to do so already that buying the dip um, on yesterday was the very logical move and that's why I did what I did right I didn't know I, I wasn't doing it because I felt like it was you know or I had any emotional ties because it's a red day I did it because it was the right thing to do right do we see it like going down further to the 3469 I think I think absolutely not uh, in the near term because that was you know that would require us to basically destroy the chart again to go below the crust Right, which will be unlikely. A lot of people have to sell on loss for you to get there, right? Including myself, but I don't think we will want to do that. I don't think anybody's incentivized to do that either. That reaching back up to um to forty two eighty eight dollars level, if we break that, we we'll leap all the way back up to the forty six twenty eight is the next level, right? So these are the frames I want to be dollar cost averaging at. Um, and I think we might have a potential to go back down today. Kind of hover around like the you know the frame between forty and thirty eight seventy five, and I think buying the dip again at these levels would be ideal for you. Um, and again, it's just a logical play, right? No bias, and to do that, um, that should be the scoop, right? And then after that, after the FOMC meeting, you basically jump through a fire hoop, you jump through that obstacle, and we should be leap back up to rally back up again to try to reach that all-time high by the end of this year going forward. Just to recap all numbers and technical analysis, again, right, we are at a level that is, uh, we're attempting to rebound. We are attempting to reverse the trends from the sell-off that we've had yesterday, right? However, we do have a macro catalyst that's coming, right, with the FOMC meeting. And I think we have a high likelihood that we actually go back down. So today's surge or rebound, if you may, is relatively temporary. Right, and I think the ideal level for you to continue dollar cost dollar cost average at and a logical level would be thirty nine fifty, thirty eight fifty, and do we see thirty four fifty? If we have a really negative one, um, which I don't think that would be the case because we we know what's expected already, um, unless they say something really really drastically um, surprising, right? But I don't think that would be likely. Thirty four fifty would not would be I give that maybe a two percent chance that we'll get there, right? Especially in the near term. Right? However, if you think long term wise, eighty five dollars in the next twelve months from now, one hundred and fifteen one hundred and fifteen point two percent upside two point two times your money if you buy the forty dollars level. All right, so this is for there respect my technical analysis on Neo Ticket NIO. Hopefully this is helpful into giving you that framework, that structure to maneuver through these, you know, volatility if you may, right? I totally understand. Uh, it takes some you know, tolerance for you to withstand these volatility and, with, you know, with these negative news, right? Seeing your assets or your stock price fluctuate on a daily basis, seeing your money going up, going down, it can be an emotional roller coaster. But that's why applying logics and understanding the technical analysis is extremely important to give you that sanity. And that's why I come in to give you that, right? Uh, but hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, again, feel free to reach out. i um, always here to be helpful uh, and try to give free advice to people around the world. Uh, stay tuned for the next coming up. Take care. Bye.